Hi, how's it going? Today we're gonna go through collage art. Also, I'm going to go through fair use with collages. If you need images for retro looking collage, perfect place is Flickr. Where you can find thousands of old looking images in retro or scientific illustrations. You can also filter by rights and size. I love to do space with retro images, which is what I'm going to create today. I make the image of 240 resolution by 1080 by 1080 for Instagram. Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, known as Fair Use, the provision provides a legal defense to copyright infringement. Put simply, that means that I admit I've taken work from other purpose, but I can argue that my use of the work still deserves protection. In the case of an artist's image being taken without permission, its acceptance under fair use is consignment on four factors. All four inform a judge who makes the final determination of fair use argument validity. The most important question is, are you using the image for commercial purposes? If so, you're likely in deep trouble. Or are non-profit and educational purposes, then if that's the matter, you're more likely clear. It also depends on the nature of how you're using the copyright work. The less original or less creative your use, the weaker your fair use claim. Another important factor is the total amount of the copyright image being reproduced. The more you re reproduce, the less likely you are to be protected by fair use. The judges will look at the extent to which reproduction impacts the market and undermines the economic value of the author's original work. Lastly, if the image is being transformed or parodied, it can also be protected under fair use. How to avoid a copyright infringement? Just ask for permission. Get it in writing, keep a copy of it. Always credit the creator. Understand the terms of image sharing platforms before you download and use the image. There are several ways to find out if an image is copyrighted. For starters, you can search on the United States Copyright Office website. You should also look for watermarks to see if an image is copyrighted. If you edit or modify an image that you didn't create, it is still copyrighted. You should never use an image without the consent of the creator. Some background of fair use. For most collages, factor, purpose, and the character of the use. That is a big key factor. <clears throat> Typically, collages those that use many different materials juxtaposed in ways that create new visual meaning will be considered transformative work. A work is transformative when the copyright material is transformed in the creation of new information, new aesthetic, new insights, and new understanding. In contrast, a work is not transformative if it merely uses the copyright material in the same way or with the same effect of the original work. For example, in one recent case, the defendant published idea books for a scrap. Some of the sample scrapbook pages used the plaintiff's stickers combined with the other decorative materials. The court found that this was not transformative. The stickers were used in the defendant's books to create a pictorial representation in which the stickers would not lose their individual identities. Also, the plaintiff itself marked the stickers to scrapbook use and published his own idea books which also uses stickers as part of the decorative collages. Another aspect of factor is whether the new work is commercial. Commercial does not merely mean that you make money from your work. Generally, work of fine art are not considered commercial even if they sell for hundreds or thousands of dollars. Courts are more likely to consider artwork commercial if it is sold as decorative on merchandise. In that case, it looks more like you are using the artwork to sell consumer merchandise rather than selling the artwork itself. However, the courts are not consistent in this approach. Some courts are, have held that sales of fine art prints are commercial, 
Others have found that sales of merchandise by museum gift shops are not commercial. Under Factor, the nature of the original artwork, courts would look into whether the copyright material you've used in the collage is more factual or newsworthy in nature rather than highly creative. There is more leeway to use the materials like news photographs, for example, than a highly stylized illustration. News photographs are usually included because of the factual content of the photograph rather than the exploit of the artistic authorship protected by the copyright. It could be problematic if the main focus of the collage is one copyrighted work, e.g. a central image to which a decorative border had been added, or if the collage uses the entire work rather than just a portion. Courts will consider factor whether the new use affects the potential market of or the original work. For most, collages, for most collages, this factor will weigh in favor of the fair use, because your artwork will not be displaced in the market for the original materials. For example, suppose a collage uses an editorial photograph for, from a magazine. Using that collage on greeting cards probably would not compete licensing market for the photograph. The more transformative a work is, the less significant the other factors will be. Works have been held to be fair use even with all three factors technically weighing against it. To summarize, collages that have more of the following characteristics are more likely to qualify as fair use. The collage incorporates many different materials from many different sources. The materials are juxtaposed or arranged in ways that create new visual and conceptual effects. The more different from the effect of the original materials, the better the collage does not feature a copyright work as a central focus or dominant image, only portions of copyrighted materials are used. Rather than the entire image, the collage is one of a kind piece of fine art or published in a limited edition of fine art print. Copyright law also has this to say. The copyright in a complication or work extends only to the material contributed by the author of such use, as distinguished from the pre-existing material employed in the work, and does not imply any exclusive right in the pre-existing material. The copyright in such work is independent of and does not affect or enlarge the scope, duration, ownership, or substance of any copyright protection in the pre-existing material. In other words, the copyright you might gain in your collage only covers your contribution to the work. The coordination of arrangement of those pieces and the courses, any original work of authorship that make it into the collage, that's what will gain you as a copyright interest. The way you want to use a pre-existing work may be covered by fair use, but please do ask an attorney. Always ask permission as well. Well, that's interesting. Great to know what fair use is. Leave comments down below of what artwork you love to see in the future, and maybe any tutorial you'd like to see, perhaps. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.